Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Today let's challenge our biblical knowledge through the topic. 100 Hardest Bible Quiz About, The Book of Romans. Let's start. Question 1. Who was separated unto the Gospel of God? A. Peter. B. Paul. C. John. D. James. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Paul. Explaining the Bible. V. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God. Romans 1 verse 1. Question 2. By what resurrection was Christ declared the Son of God? A. The resurrection of the just. B. The resurrection of the dead. C. The resurrection of Lazarus. D. The resurrection of life. Time to think. Correct answer. B. The resurrection of the dead. Explaining the Bible. It and declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. Romans 1 verse 4. Question 3. What was spoken of throughout the whole world? A. Your love. B. Your hope. C. Your faith. D. Your charity. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Your faith. Explaining the Bible. E. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. Romans 1 verse 8. Question 4. Without ceasing I do what? A. Preach the gospel. B. Make mention of you always in my prayers. C. Serve the Lord. D. Study the scriptures. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Make mention of you always in my prayers. Explaining the Bible. E. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. Romans 1 verse 9. Question 5. I long to see you that I may do what? A. Teach you. B. Comfort you. C. Impart unto you some spiritual gift. D. Pray with you. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Impart unto you some spiritual gift. Explaining the Bible. E. For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift, to the end ye may be established. Romans 1 verse 11. Question 6. Brethren, I would not have you how? A. Sad. B. Ignorant. C. Confused. D. Duptful. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Ignorant. Explaining the Bible. Shanao, I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purposed to come unto you, but was led hitherto, that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. Romans 1 verse 13. Question 7. Finish. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. A. 114. B. 115. C. 116. D. 1h17. Time to think. Correct answer. C. 116. Explaining the Bible. E. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. 
for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Romans 1 verse 16. Question 8. What is the power of God unto salvation? A. The law. B. The prophets. C. The gospel of Christ. D. The wisdom. Time to think. Correct answer. C. The Gospel of Christ. Explaining the Bible. E. For I am not ashamed of the Gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to every one that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Romans 1 verse 16. Question 9. The just shall live how? A. By works. B. By law. C. By faith. D. By righteousness. Time to think. Correct answer. C. By faith. Explaining the Bible. E. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Romans 1 verse 17. Question 10. Against what is the wrath of God revealed? A. All godliness and righteousness of men. B. All ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. C. All faithfulness and righteousness of men. D. All kindness and truthfulness of men. Time to think. Correct answer. B. All ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. Explaining the Bible. E. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Romans 1 verse 18. Question 11. Why are the ungodly without excuse? A. Because the invisible things of God are not seen. B. Because the visible things of the world are not understood. C. Because the invisible things of the world are clearly seen. D. Because the visible things of the world are ignored. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Because the invisible things of the world are clearly seen. Explaining the Bible. E. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans 1 verse 20. Question 12. The truth of God was changed into what? A. Into a lie. B. Into a myth. C. Into a story. D. Into a fable. Time to think. Correct answer. A. Into a lie. Explaining the Bible. A. Who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Romans 1 verse 25. Question 13. The goodness of God leadeth thee to what? A. Wisdom. B. Knowledge. C. Repentance. D. Salvation. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Repentance. Explaining the Bible. G. Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance? Romans 2 verse 4. Question 14. God will render to every man how? A. According to his faith. B. According to his deeds. C. According to his wisdom. D. According to his mercy. Time to think.
Correct answer. B. According to his deeds. Explaining the Bible. She who will render to every man according to his deeds. Romans 2 verse 6. Question 15. The contentious obey not what? A. The law. B. The truth. C. The commandments. D. The gospel. Time to think. Correct answer. B. The truth. Explaining the Bible. A. But unto them that are contentious, and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath. Romans 2 verse 8. Question 16. Finish. For there is no respect of persons with God. A. Romans 2 verse 9. B. Romans 2 verse 10. C. Roman 2 11. D. Roman 2 h 12. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Romans 2 verse 11. Explaining the Bible. A. For there is no respect of persons with God. Romans 2 verse 11. Question 17. As many as have sinned in the law, they shall be judged how? A. By grace. B. By the law. C. By faith. D. By works. Time to think. Correct answer. B. By the law. Explaining the Bible. If for as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law, and as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. Romans 2 verse 12. Question 18. According to 2.13, the doers of the law shall be what? A. Condemned. B. Justified. C. Punished. D. Rewarded. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Justified. Explaining the Bible. Therefore not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Romans 2 verse 13. Question 19. The Gentiles have not what? A. The prophets. B. The temple. C. The law. D. The faith. Time to think. Correct answer. C. The law. Explaining the Bible. E. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these, having not the law, are a law unto themselves. Romans 2 verse 14. Question 20. By whom shall God judge the secrets of men? A. Moses. B. David. C. Jesus Christ. D. The Holy Spirit. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Jesus Christ. Explaining the Bible. E. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Romans 2 verse 16. Question 21. A Jew resteth in what? A. The faith. B. The commandments. C. The law. D. The covenant. Time to think. Correct answer. C. The law. Explaining the Bible. A. Behold, thou art called a Jew, and restest in the law, and makest thy boast of God. Romans 2 verse 17. Question 22. Who is instructed out of the law? A. A Gentile. B. A Jew. C. A prophet. D. A believer. Time to think.
Correct answer. B. A Jew. Explaining the Bible. Iran knowest his will, and approvest the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law. Romans 2 verse 18. Question 23. By breaking the law thou dishonorest whom? A. Thyself. B. The prophets. C. The temple. D. God. Time to think. Correct answer. D. God. Explaining the Bible. E. Thou that makest thy boast of the law, through breaking the law dishonorest thou God? Romans 2 verse 23. Question 24. Among the Gentiles what is blasphemed? A. The name of God. B. The law. C. The temple. D. The prophets. Time to think. Correct answer. A. The name of God. Explaining the Bible. A. For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles through you, as it is written. Romans 2 verse 24. Question 25. A Jew's praise is not of men, but of whom? A. The prophets. B. The law. C. The temple. D. God. Time to think. Correct answer. D. God. Explaining the Bible. Of but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Romans 2 verse 29. Question 26. What advantage hath the Jew? A. They are the chosen people. B. Much in every way. Chiefly because to them were committed the oracles of God. C. They have the law. D. They are descendants of Abraham. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Much in every way. Chiefly because to them were committed the oracles of God. Explaining the Bible. A. What advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Romans 3 verses 1 to 2. Question 27. Let God be true, but every man a what? A. Sinner. B. Prophet. C. Liar. D. Judge. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Liar. Explaining the Bible. God forbid. Yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Romans 3 verse 4. Question 28. Both Jew and Gentile are under what? A. Faith. B. Law. C. Sin. D. Grace. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Sin. Explaining the Bible. E. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise, for we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. Romans 3 verse 9. Question 29. How many are righteous? A. All. B. Many. C. Few. D. Not one. Time to think. Correct answer. D. Not one. Explaining the Bible. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3 verse 10. Question 30. For all have sinned and come short of what? 
A. The grace of God. B. The love of God. C. The glory of God. D. The mercy of God. Time to think. Correct answer. C. The glory of God. Explaining the Bible. E. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3 verse 23. Question 31. We are justified freely through what redemption? A. The redemption in the law. B. The redemption that is in Christ Jesus. C. The redemption by works. D. The redemption through faith. Time to think. Correct answer. B. The redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Explaining the Bible. A. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans 3 verse 24. Question 32. Who is our father as pertaining to the flesh? A. Isaac. B. Jacob. C. Abraham. D. David. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Abraham. Explaining the Bible. E. What shall we say then that Abraham our father, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found? Romans 4 verse 1. Question 33. What was counted unto Abraham for righteousness? A. His works. B. His faith. C. His obedience. D. His offerings. Time to think. Correct answer. B. His faith. Explaining the Bible. E. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Romans 4 verse 3. Question 34. Who said blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven? A. Moses. B. Isaiah. C. David. D. Jeremiah. Time to think. Correct answer. C. David. Explaining the Bible. Yet even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man, unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. Romans 4 verses 6 to 7. Question 35. By what are we reconciled to God? A. By the law. B. By faith. C. By the death of his son. D by our works. Time to think. Correct answer. C. By the death of his son. Explaining the Bible. E. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Romans 5 verse 10. Question 36. By sin what entered into the world? A. Death. B. Suffering. C. Evil. D. Pain. Time to think. Correct answer. A. Death. Explaining the Bible. E. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Romans 5 verse 12. Question 37. Why did death pass upon all men? A. For all have sinned. B. For all have lived. C. For all have believed. D. For all have died. Time to think.
Correct answer. A. For all have sinned. Explaining the Bible. E. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Romans 5 verse 12. Question 38. How long did death reign? A. From Adam to Noah. B. From Adam to Moses. C. From Moses to David. D. From David to Jesus. Time to think. Correct answer. B. From Adam to Moses. Explaining the Bible. She nevertheless death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. Romans 5 verse 14. Question 39. Where did grace much more abound? A. Where faith was strong. B. Where love was evident. C. Where sin abounded. D where hope was found. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Where sin abounded. Explaining the Bible. Moreover the law entered, that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Romans 5 verse 20. Question 40. Into whose death are we baptized? A. Moses. B. Elijah. C. Jesus Christ. D. John the Baptist. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Jesus Christ. Explaining the Bible. And know ye not, that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Romans 6 verse 3. Question 41. We should walk in what? A. Newness of life. B. Paths of righteousness. C. Ways of peace. D. Ways of wisdom. Time to think. Correct answer. A. Newness of life. Explaining the Bible. Ye therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Romans 6 verse 4. Question 42. We should not serve what? A. The world. B. Sin. C. Ourselves. D. Mammon. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Sin. Explaining the Bible. Ye knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Romans 6 verse 6. Question 43. Who is freed from sin? A. He that is righteous. B. He that is holy. C. He that is dead. D. He that is alive. Time to think. Correct answer. C. He that is dead. Explaining the Bible. E. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Romans 6 verse 7. Question 44. Christ liveth unto whom? A. The Father. B. The Spirit. C. God. D. The Son. Time to think. Correct answer. C. God. Explaining the Bible. E. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Romans 6 verse 10. Question 45. Reckon yourselves to be what? A. 
alive unto the world, be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. C. Alive unto the law. D. Dead to the commandments. Time to think. Correct answer. Be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Explaining the Bible. E likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6 verse 11. Question 46. What should not reign in your mortal body? A. Love. B. Peace. C. Sin. D. Righteousness. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Sin. Explaining the Bible. A. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lusts thereof. Romans 6 verse 12. Question 47. Yield yourselves unto whom? A. The law. B. The prophets. C. God. D. The commandments. Time to think. Correct answer. C. God. Explaining the Bible. Should neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God, as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Romans 6 verse 13. Question 48. Ye are not under law, but under what? A. Faith. B. Grace. C. Works. D. Commandement. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Grace. Explaining the Bible. E. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Romans 6 verse 14. Question 49. Being made free from sin ye become what? A. The children of God. B. The servants of righteousness. C. The heirs of the kingdom. D. The followers of Christ. Time to think. Correct answer. B. The servants of righteousness. Explaining the Bible. A. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Romans 6 verse 18. Question 50. Finish. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. A. 621. B. 622. C. 623. D. 6h24. Time to think. Correct answer. C. 623. Explaining the Bible. Before the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6 verse 23. Question 51. How long is a woman bound to her husband? A. Until she finds another. B. As long as he liveth. C. Until she desires freedom. D. As long as she is faithful. Time to think. Correct answer. B. As long as he liveth explaining the Bible. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. Romans 7 verse 2. Question 52. We should bring forth what unto God? A. Works. B. Offerings. C. Fruit. D. Prez. Time to think.
Correct answer. C. Fruit. Explaining the Bible. Ye wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. Romans 7 verse 4. Question 53. What motions did work in our members? A. The motions of sin. B. The motions of love. C. The motions of peace. D. The motions of faith. Time to think. Correct answer. A. The motions of sin. Explaining the Bible. E. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. Romans 7 verse 5. Question 54. We should serve in the newness of what? A. Spirit. B. Law. C. Flesh. D. Heart. Time to think. Correct answer. A. Spirit. Explaining the Bible. If but now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit, and not in the oldness of the letter. Romans 7 verse 6. Question 55. Without the law, what is dead? A. Faith. B. Love. C. Sin. D. Hope. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Sin. Explaining the Bible. E. For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. Romans 7 verse 9. Question 56. What is holy, just, and good? A. The commandments. B. The prophets. C. The law. D. The faith. Time to think. Correct answer. C. The law. Explaining the Bible. Ye wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. Romans 7 verse 12. Question 57. In my flesh dwelleth what? A. No good thing. B. Righteousness. C. Faith. D. Love. Time to think. Correct answer. A. No good thing. Explaining the Bible. E. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. Romans 7 verse 18. Question 58. To will is present where? A. In my mind. B. In my heart. C. With me. D. In my soul. Time to think. Correct answer. C. With me. Explaining the Bible. E. For I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. Romans 7 verse 18. Question 59. Evil is present with me when I would do what? A. Evil. B. Sin. C. Wrong. D. Good. Time to think. Correct answer. D. Good. Explaining the Bible. And I find then a law, that, when I would do good, evil is present with me. Romans 7 verse 21. Question 60. I delight in what law? A. The law of Moses. B. The law of God. C. The law of faith. D. The law of works. 
Time to think. Correct answer. B. The law of God. Explaining the Bible. E4 I delight in the law of God after the inward man. Romans 7 verse 22. Question 61. I see another law where? A. In the scriptures. B. In my mind. C. In my members. D. In the commandments. Time to think. Correct answer. C. In my members. Explaining the Bible. F. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Romans 7 verse 23. Question 62. Through whom do I thank God? A. The Spirit. B. The Prophets. C. Jesus Christ our Lord. D. The Apostles. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Jesus Christ our Lord. Explaining the Bible. A. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Romans 7 verse 25. Question 63. With the flesh I serve what? A. The law of sin. B. The law of faith. C. The law of righteousness. D. The law of Moses. Time to think. Correct answer. A. The law of sin. Explaining the Bible. A. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Romans 7 verse 25. Question 64. Finish. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. A. 8 colon 1. B. 8 colon 2. C. 8 colon 3. D. 8 or 4. Time to think. Correct answer. A. 8 colon 1. Explaining the Bible. A. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Romans 8 verse 1. Question 65. Who was sent in the likeness of sinful flesh? A. Adam. B. Moses. C. God's Son. D. David. Time to think. Correct answer. C. God's Son. Explaining the Bible. E. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Romans 8 verse 3. Question 66. To be spiritually minded is what? A. Faith and hope. B. Life and peace. C. Love and joy. D. Strength and wisdom. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Life and peace. Explaining the Bible. G4 to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Romans 8 verse 6. Question 67. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are what? A. The sons of God. B. The children of God. C. The heirs of the kingdom. D. The followers of Christ. Time to think.
Correct answer. B. The children of God. Explaining the Bible. Ere the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit, that we are the children of God. Romans 8 verse 16. Question 68. We are joint heirs with whom? A. The Apostles. B. The Prophets. C. Christ. D. The Spirit. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Christ. Explaining the Bible. A. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Romans 8 verse 17. Question 69. What sufferings are not worthy to be compared with glory? A. The sufferings of the past. B. The sufferings of this present time. C. The sufferings of the righteous. D. The sufferings of the apostles. Time to think. Correct answer. B. The sufferings of this present time. Explaining the Bible. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8 verse 18. Question 70. Who have glorious liberty? A. The children of God. B. The sons of men. C. The heirs of the kingdom. D. The followers of Christ. Time to think. Correct answer. A. The children of God. Explaining the Bible. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Romans 8 verse 21. Question 71. Finish. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. A. 8. 26. B. 8. 27. C. 8. 28. D. 8h29. Time to think. Correct answer. C. 828. Explaining the Bible. Ever and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Romans 8 verse 28. Question 72. Finish. If God be for us, who can be against us? A. 829. B. 830. C. 831. D. 8h32. Time to think. Correct answer. C. 831. Explaining the Bible. E. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8 verse 31. Question 73. Who is at the right hand of God? A. The Father. B. The Son. C. Christ. D. The Spirit. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Christ. Explaining the Bible. Er, who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also mocketh intercession for us. Romans 8 verse 34. Question 74. Death shall not separate us from what? A. The love of God. B. The grace of God. C. The faith in God. D the truth of God. Time to think. Correct answer. A. The love of God. Explaining the Bible. 
she nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8 verse 39. Question 75. Let every soul be subject unto what? A. The higher powers. B. The law. C. The faith. D. The commandments. Time to think. Correct answer. A. The higher powers. Explaining the Bible. E. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Romans 13 verse 1. Question 76. The powers that be are ordained of whom? A. The apostles. B. The prophets. C. The spirit. D. God. Time to think. Correct answer. D. God. Explaining the Bible. E. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Romans 13 verse 1. Question 77. Who shall receive to themselves damnation? A. Those that love the world. B. Those that resist the power of God. C. Those that follow the flesh. D. Those that reject the commandments. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Those that resist the power of God. Explaining the Bible. She whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Romans 13 verse 2. Question 78. The ruler is the minister of whom? A. The apostles. B. The prophets. C. The law. D. God. Time to think. Correct answer. D. God. Explaining the Bible. E for he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Romans 13 verse 4. Question 79. Render honor to whom? A. The prophets. B. The apostles. C. The law. D. To whom honor is due. Time to think. Correct answer. D. To whom honor is due. Explaining the Bible. A render therefore to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor to whom honor. Romans 13 verse 7. Question 80. He that loveth hath fulfilled what? A. The faith. B. The commandments. C. The law. D. The gospel. Time to think. Correct answer. C. The law. Explaining the Bible. E. Owe no man anything, but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Romans 13 verse 8. Question 81. Our salvation is now nearer than when? A. When we first believed. B. When we first heard. C. When we first prayed. D. When we first hoped. Time to think. Correct answer. A. When we first believed. Explaining the Bible. You are in that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. 
Romans 13 verse 11. Question 82. Let us cast off what? A. The works of faith. B. The works of righteousness. C. The works of light. D. The works of darkness. Time to think. Correct answer. D. The works of darkness. Explaining the Bible. Ere the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Romans 13 verse 12. Question 83. Put on what armor? A. The armor of light. B. The armor of faith. C. The armor of righteousness. D. The armor of truth. Time to think. Correct answer. A. The armor of light. Explaining the Bible. Ere the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Romans 13 verse 12. Question 84. Walk how? A. Honestly as in the night. B. Honestly as in the day. C. Righteously as in the day. D. Faithfully as in the night. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Honestly as in the day. Explaining the Bible. E. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Romans 13 verse 13. Question 85. Put on whom? A. The apostles. B. The prophets. C. The spirit. D. The Lord Jesus Christ. Time to think. Correct answer. D. The Lord Jesus Christ. Explaining the Bible. A. Uh, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh, to fulfill the lusts thereof. Romans 13 verse 14. Question 86. He that eateth should not do what? A. Despise him that eateth not. B. Judge him that eateth not. C. Condemn him that eateth not. D. Mock him that eateth not. Time to think. Correct answer. A. Despise him that eateth not. Explaining the Bible. A. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. Romans 14 verse 3. Question 87. Every man should be persuaded where? A. In his own mind. B. In his own heart. C. In his own soul. D. In his own spirit. Time to think. Correct answer. A. In his own mind. Explaining the Bible. So one man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Romans 14 verse 5. Question 88. Whether we live or die we are whose? A. The apostles. B. The prophets. C. The churches. D. The lords. Time to think. Correct answer. D. The Lord's. Explaining the Bible. E. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. Romans 14 verse 8. Question 89. 
To what end did Christ die rise and revive? A. That he might be Lord both of the dead and living. B. That he might be Savior of the world. C. That he might be King of Kings. D. That he might be Head of the Church. Time to think. Correct answer. A. That he might be Lord both of the dead and living. Explaining the Bible. E. For to this end Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. Romans 14 verse 9. Question 90. We shall all stand where? A. Before the judgment seat of God. B. Before the judgment seat of Christ. C. Before the judgment seat of the apostles. D before the judgment seat of the prophets. Time to think. Correct answer. B, before the judgment seat of Christ. Explaining the Bible. A, but why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Romans 14 verse 10. Question 91. Every knee shall do what? A. Bend to the Lord. B. Bow to the Lord. C. Kneel to the Lord. D. Submit to the Lord. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Bow to the Lord. Explaining the Bible. E. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. Romans 14 verse 11. Question 92. Finish. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. A. 14 11. B. 14 12. C. 14 13. D. 14 heures 14. Time to think. Correct answer. B. 1412. Explaining the Bible. E. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Romans 14 verse 12. Question 93. Your good should not be what? A. Evil spoken of. B. Misunderstood. C. Ignored. D. Forgotten. Time to think. Correct answer. A. Evil spoken of. Explaining the Bible. A. Let not then your good be evil spoken of. Romans 14 verse 16. Question 94. What is not meat and drink? A. The law. B. The faith. C. The kingdom of God. D. The gospel. Time to think. Correct answer. C. The kingdom of God. Explaining the Bible. E. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Romans 14 verse 17. Question 95. The kingdom of God is what? A. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. B. Love, faith, and hope. C. Truth, wisdom, and knowledge. D. Power, might, and glory. Time to think. Correct answer. A of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Explaining the Bible. E for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Romans 14 verse 17. Question 96. He that serveth Christ is acceptable to whom? A. The apostles. 
B. The prophets. C. The church. D. God. Time to think. Correct answer. D. God. Explaining the Bible. Jafor he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Romans 14 verse 18. Question 97. Whatsoever is not of faith is what? A. Good. B. Holy. C. Sin. D. Righteousness. Time to think. Correct answer. C. Sin. Explaining the Bible. Jian he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Romans 14 verse 23. Question 98. Who ought to bear the infirmities of the weak? A. The strong. B. The righteous. C. The holy. D. The faithful. Time to think. Correct answer. A. The strong. Explaining the Bible. Ye we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Romans 15 verse 1. Question 99. We have hope through what? A. Faith and grace. B. Patience and comfort of the scriptures. C. Love and mercy. D. Righteousness and truth. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Patience and comfort of the scriptures. Explaining the Bible. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Romans 15 verse 4. Question 100. With one mind and one mouth ye may do what? A. Praise God. B. Glorify God. C. Honor God. D. Worship God. Time to think. Correct answer. B. Glorify God. Explaining the Bible. Yeah, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 15 verse 6.